Women's History Month is this month with book recommendations that highlight and center around female stories. We have the perfect person to break it down for you, Amazon Books Editorial Director. That's the lovely Sarah Gelman joins us once again in the studio with her recommendations. And I like when we were talking before the break, you said celebrating women in different ways and Hopefully you said none of the books are expected. So yeah. let's start with your number one pick. Well, this book is called The pick. Women, so maybe expected. It's by Kristen Hanna. But it's about combat nurses. It is. So Kristen Hanna is the master at these sort of well-researched, gutting, and unique historical fiction. And this is her, I think it's her at her best. This is about American women who go to Vietnam to be combat nurses and their experience there. But then when they come back, and again, this is a true story. This is a novel, but this is real. They come back and... They're basically candy stripers in hospitals. They were surgical nurses and they're told they don't have experience. Wow. And when wow. they go to march in Vietnam protests, they're told that women didn't serve in Vietnam. Mm. Wow. So much, I mean, a lot of her stories center around a great female protagonist. This one is the same. All the characters jump off the page. And I read this book on a plane and was sobbing. So it's wow. no one's getting out with dry eyes. Mm. But wow. it's a great book. And I think history that not a lot of people know about. I was a candy striper in a hospital when I was a teenager. Nothing so wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But I can't imagine. Uh, listen, I was yes. delivering uh, food to the patient. Exactly. And working in the gift shop. So imagine I would be having very your offended. hands yes. in people's bodies exactly. and then being and then told, told that you can do that. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Exactly right. uh, speaking of bodies, your next recommendation is a book about women's health and bodies. Good segue. Okay. I liked that. Um, <laughs> all in Her Head by Elizabeth Coleman. So she is an oncologist. And this book is all about how women's bodies have been shamed over history and why it still matters today. She opens with this anecdote about Dr. Coleman goes to see a patient who's dying. And it's a female patient. She goes to hug her, and the patient apologizes for sweating on her. Mm. I think it's such a female experience to apologize for what your body's doing. Mm -hmm. So you learn so much in this book. You learn about the real typhoid Mary, whose name was Mary Mallon. And she was imprisoned without ever knowing why. Of course, she was an asymptomatic carrier of disease. And also about a woman named Dr. Nanette Wegner. She was one of the first graduates, uh, first female graduates of Harvard Medical School in 1954. And really the first person that said that female heart disease was as important as men's heart disease, saving mm -hmm. a ton of women's lives. Um, next book is one that you say every teenage girl should have. Well, I think life. if you're a, a person that has a teenage girl in your life, you oh, should definitely should. read this book. Mm, okay. It's underestimated by Chelsea Gooden. Gooden is a, te a tutor to many teenage girls, and so she definitely knows them. And this book, it like the title says, don't underestimate teenage girls. Don't write them off as drama queens or mean girls. They are capable of deep conversations and self-reflection. Mm -hmm. And in this book, you're gonna learn everything about how to engage them in conversations, really tough topics like social media, beauty, self-image, sexuality. So it's more to help the parents or their caregivers. It's to help and parents them. and caregivers. Teachers, gotcha. I think, yeah, would be great. Teachers. Okay. Then you have a romance book oh, yes. about a woman who's picking herself up, rebuilding her life after what? Yes. What so happened? this could be us by Kennedy Ryan. She is a book talk sensation. Oh, I love the so, title. This right? Be, yes, a beautiful yeah. jacket. So this is about a woman whose husband is, he's not a good guy. And he basically blows up their life. And she puts it all back together mm -hmm. financially, but also her three daughters. Mm. And I love that it has these female empowerment themes, but also it, there's happily ever after. It's romance with capital R yes. and like unabashedly so. It's so, so fun. I yeah. always believe in happily ever after. Yes. So I, I want to get that. Uh, I believe right. in food and food memoirs. You got one of those, right? <laughs> oh my God, this yeah. is my favorite jacket of the month. I'm just going to say that. If You Can't Take the Heat by Geraldine DeRuiter. She is a <laughs> James Beard award winner, right? Yeah. It's, food yeah. blogger who goes viral after she wrote an essay about Mario Batali's apology letter for sexual harassment allegations. Wow. That included a cinnamon bun recipe that apparently wasn't very that. good. Oh, yes, this is that. the woman. Yes. Okay. So these are personal essays about food and about feminism. <laughs> and you will read this book and you're going to laugh and want to like hurl it across the room in the same sentence. They're just, food and women are complicated. There's a lot of taboo. And this book is just a lot of fun. I always learn when you come on. You said book talk, too. right? That's an author that gains popularity yes. on TikTok? Yes. Book talk. Okay. Talk. All right. Sarah Gelman, appreciate you.